It was always good to speak about Zen and Zen masters <laughs> because they don't speak from the mouth, they don't use the brain, neither they speak from the bum, they speak from the foot of the mountain. <laughs> that was a beauty because the base, the simple things in life and the climb up of that simple things in life, enjoying every moment of that simple things is mind boggling. It is saturated. It is orgasmic experience which enlightens you. Hakim was one master I always liked to speak. Hakim master said, meditation the midst of activity is a thousand times superior to meditation in stillness. It is straight opposite of what India has taught. And the Zen masters knew that they learned it from India, they learned it from Bodhidharma. But why did they put it straight opposite? It was not opposite at all. It was the reality of the fact that they have forgotten. You can sit in meditation only when you make things more difficult. And the more difficult you feel, the more healthy you become. That's why you can see people going to the gymnasium. More heavy the weight they lift, the more muscles they build up. They feel, yes, I'm strong. And the straight opposite is what happening with the meditation people and the yoga masters. Meditation, mist of activity. A thousand times superior meditation still in the midst of activity. The oldest rishis also have taught. And what went wrong? The interpretation must have gone wrong. They have taught. If you want to meditate, go to the Himalayas and meditate. And all the people ran to the Himalayas and they started meditating there. And that's why India lived in poverty. The, what the rishis and the great Maharishis and the great saints have said was go to the Himalayan, Himalaya means Himalayan problems, the biggest, go to the Himalayas means go to the biggest problem area, toughest area. There you meditate means there you keep moving, you become conscious. There you can start observing where you can correct things and make things in proper order so there won't be any chaos. Chaos is sickness. Chaos is destruction. Chaos is criminal activity. Chaos creates demons in the society like how we have demons now. The whole society is ruled and run by demons. I thought the old stories were called, talking about gods and demons. Gods are frightened of demons and so they have to bring Krishna to slay off the demons, etc. I was thinking, God has got power, boom, they show. And the demons will know what they said was the gods means the people who are following their regular routine, their path and working very hard, no work, no food. Suddenly the demons are the people who are not working, robbing and cheating. They take over and it is called the gods who are taken over. I thought those stories were all in the storybooks, but now I am seeing right in the society no truthful people are free from the demons culture. Left and right they have been attacked because nobody wants to work hard. Everything has been created very, very easy. No, no, no. Meditation is not to create easy. But now the Vipassana meditation people were the worst kind of a group which is destroying the community. Vipassana people did not understand that they have to work karma yoga, keep doing with their life. Karma yoga means huge amount of power. The people over there looks like Tarsen. And in the karma yoga, 
spring, summer, autumn, winter. Much before the rains, they, the people who are going to meditate make sure that the hardest labor in the conscious layer, in the observant system, observe, observing the feeling of observation. When they observe, they can penetrate deeper to find out where this kind of water comes. And they have a backup book which tells them of thousand years of history, how much water can flow and so and so river and ponds, so that nobody in 365 days will go without water. And water is crystal clear water in certain areas where you take baths yes, and grow your vegetables. Hard labor, meditation, mist of activity, Himalayan problems means go in the center of the market. And many people thought what uh, Swami Rakumji said, uh, sitting in the center of the for center of the city, center of the market makes you meditate. You know, no. So they all most of the uh, Swamiji's they came started running to the cities and they started creating a huge amount of followers like the IT company children and other things. And they're asking them to sit around them. No, 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 bullshit, nonsense. No, 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 no. Meditation is to observe. Meditation is to be conscious. And consciousness and observation comes from the toughest of the toughest labor. And you would feel the satoris and you feel enlightened when you have too much of sweat coming out. Like the tennis player, he removes seven times his t-shirts and your bones start breaking, reaches the point of pain. And that's the time you go to take bath. Whatever you see is meditative. Whatever you could feel is meditative. Because when you see the toughest, you can just relax to see the soft. Like Mother Patricia said, give till it hurts. Yes, you can meditate only till you work and till it hurts you. And after the hurt, only you start your the first hour of your work. After the hurt comes, it hurts you. Hurts, it pains your knees, your legs. That is how the nature has made this body. Not to make it more easier. If there is a tree, yes, let them climb and pluck and eat makes them strong. But the city also, okay, making things more comfortable from the flies biting you and other things to make beautiful buildings to avoid and at the same time you also make more beautiful to make sure that the nature also is beautiful that when the rain comes you know how to collect the rain water in such a beautiful way convert it into drip irrigation gray water harvesting black water harvesting this is beautiful converting everywhere into solar energy collecting the sun sunlights when that happens, you are meditative. Meditation, mist of activity is a thousand times superior to meditation in stillness. Says stagnant water stinks, flowing water is fresh water. When people are sitting for hours together, you can see many of the great saints died of cancer because they were sitting in meditation for a long time because stagnant water stinks. Who said? I did not say. You can ask Gene Ornish, the chief physician. The cardiologist in the White House for Obama and Bill Clinton, he said, when people, when journalists asked him, what is the cause of heart attack? What is the cause of BP and sugar or whatever diseases? Just telling one line, not to drag it for a long hours. And Dean Ornish has said, sitting in one place for more than one hour, the cause of all the diseases, when you're driving or just stop, get on and move around, the flowing water. Meditation is like that. How could you sit for more than one hour? You could sit not one hour, like how you sleep for eight hours. You can sleep for eight hours. Beautiful, meditate, you sleep. But you work very hard. And then you don't need any medicine because that work hard makes the blood to pump. And then when it pumps, you feel more younger, energetic, yes. And another fresh energy comes blooming up from inside. Such is the way the body is made. 
don't believe the other meditations don't sit sit in the center of the market means sit in center of the problems are all there and watch and try to find out how you can work harder when you work harder others get the smell and together you can create more beauty that beauty not making things easier make the things more difficult more tougher things to take and dig it to make your body very very strong don't throw all those kitchen items and other farming items which you are using that was your medicine that was your goal that was meditating and that was the real meditation when you pull the bullock cart when you take the spade and hit on your ground mother earth when you plow and grow your vegetables with your bare hand and legs you can find no chemicals added and then the earth sucks all the poisons out you take a fantastic bath and then you are that is meditation when you see the flowers blooming on the trees which you have made it on the on the fruits you make ah, satyris satyris is connecting you to enlightening you to reach to enlightenment that is the real meditation because in that you can have a beautiful lens of body every part of the body reflects every part of body can see the truth and there is no question self and there is no answers because everything is understood there is no ex examination or you don't need to examine such is the beauty so where is the schools and colleges schools and colleges board and examination centers no no questions and for answers your way is the answer practice that that is one of the most beautiful meditation sitting next to your wife don't do anything love happens of its own when you work together when you cook together take baths together you and your children together how to love and discuss things and it happens that is the real meditation Hakim Master said, "Meditation, the midst of activity, is a hundred times superior to meditation in stillness." <laughs>